believe what you see. You're watching Dear Darren Reviews. Believe it or not, I've never had a pumpkin spice latte before. I've heard a latte, no. I've heard about them for years, but never really looked into them myself. But when I was in the store the other day, a little package caught my eye and kept it. The moment I walked by this gorgeous little orange bottle, I knew I needed it in my life. So I figured it was time to give the pumpkin spice latte a whirl. Also, I thought it might be fun to compare it to uh, the pumpkin spice latte that you actually buy at the store. I got it without whipped cream, as you may notice, to make it a fair comparison. In any case, I'm excited to see how spicy and sweet this pumpkin flavoring is. I'm gonna start with this fresh one that I just ordered a minute ago. This is really good. I was kind of expecting an overwhelming sweet flavor, which is maybe why I've avoided it for so long, but the pumpkin flavor and the spices are really good. There's a great lingering aftertaste in my mouth right now, uh, as if the spices are dancing around and having a wonderful time on the tips of my taste buds. This is really hitting the spot right now. It tastes like there's a lot of cinnamon, and you can even kind of see it. I'm tasting maybe nutmeg too. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Let me know in the comments what is in this thing. Let's see what this bottle is all about. As I alluded to earlier, I think the packaging is really attractive, and I like it a lot. The color is great. I love this color, and the smooth matte finish is a pledge to hold and behold. It does indeed have cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove spices in it. I'm gonna give it a little shake. <laughs> it's filled to the brim. I don't know if you can see that. It smells pumpkin-y. I don't know how it compares, but I probably should have smelled the other one. They both smell pumpkin-y. Alright, let's see if this bottle treats us as well as that other one did. Hold the phone. I'm a little surprised, maybe I shouldn't be, but the fresh one is a lot better. There's something about the pumpkin flavor that's almost completely different in the bottle. Maybe not completely different, but different enough for me to be surprised.
the spices don't stand out as much. It's almost like the flavors all uh, meld it together, so they're not bouncing around as happily. I don't know if it's the bottle or just the amalgam of flavors combining, but there's a really weird medicine-like aftertaste with each drink. And it could be my association uh, from the plastic bottle. But in any case, I'm just not getting that experience with the restaurant drink. Maybe it depends on who's working. I'm not sure, but this is really good. All of the flavors from the pumpkin to the different spices used stand out way more prominently with this. If I wasn't doing the direct comparison, I'm sure I would have liked the bottle, but doing the comparison really makes this one stand out. I was kind of expecting them to both taste exactly the same, and I was a little worried that this review may not be interesting. So I ended up buying a uh, pumpkin scone to review also. Look at this beautiful bad boy. I wanted to get the pumpkin muffin because I know it's good. It has cream cheese stuffed in the center and it's delicious. But they were out, so I had to get the scone. But the scone looks pretty good. It feels super soft. Let's see what's going on. I almost don't want to break it. Guys, this looks delish. It's making my mouth water seeing this moist, soft cake. Check it out, guys. It's just falling apart. It's so ready to be torn into. Alright, here we go. Well guys, like a lot of things in my life, it's fallen apart in my hands. It's one of those situations where when you reach to pick up a crumb, the crumb explodes into even more crumbs. I'm a little surprised that it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. The super sweet icing is kind of the abundant flavor throughout the whole experience. Even though the texture of the scone is really pleasant and fun to eat because it's so cakey, there's not really much flavor. I was kind of expecting the spiced pumpkin flavor of the drink to inhabit the scum, but it does not. They were sold out of the pumpkin muffin, and I can see why the scum was the only thing they had left. Well guys, this turned out to be a little more insightful than I thought it would be, which is good. I hope you guys found the same value that I did in this experiment. If you liked this video, click that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that subscribe button, and then right next to it there's a little bell icon. Go ahead and click that too. If you want to utilize even more insight, check out all my other videos, and be vigilant with clicking that little like button each time you see it. Feel free to check out my music, there's going to be a link in the description. Well guys, I finally got the pumpkin spice latte thing, and will be amongst the many celebrating its return each year. Well maybe not celebrating, but appreciating. Well guys, with all my love, and all my heart, it was a true treat being with you, and I look forward to next time. Thanks for watching! Bye!